Oh, let's go do it again. Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay, so um, which one for my new job? With you? I'll go with the black. The black. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. Very corporate okay. business stuff. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And hi. I'm hi. sorry. <laughs> did you take your pills this morning? I did. I did. Okay. Are you excited about your first day? Yeah. I don't know anything about publishing. So. But... You didn't know anything about the hotel business, and now look what you know. That's because I had you as a teacher. It's true, you're wonderful. Yes. You know what, this is good, this is good. It's good for people to see that we're mm -hmm. not just together because you know, our lives got a little tangled up. Yeah. And we're together because we choose to be. Well, no, it's good for us to see too, you know? Because I know I choose you. I choose you too. And I also choose for you not to be late on your first day. Okay. All right, good. What's on your agenda today? My day is about Emma. I'm gonna sit her down when she gets home from school and I'm gonna tell her about us. Emma's just a little girl. Is she ready for this? Are you? Yes, I am. But she's going to have a lot of questions. And, you know, how are we going to answer them? Well, I, Emma's Emma's a bright and loving kid. If we can't explain it to her, how can we hope to explain it to anybody else? You're right. And we'll just tell her that she actually really does have two mommies. You want to rehearse something? Or? Um, no. I, I think I'm just going to uh, speak from the heart. Okay, good. I will, too. You're going to be at work. Well, we can wait until after I get home. I think this is something that I should probably do myself. You don't want me to be there? I just think that she should hear it from me first, and then we'll, we'll sit her down together and we'll talk to her. And you're right. This is a conversation that you should have with your daughter. So I'll call you. Okay, you come by after work. Have a great first day. Okay. Oh, I think I'm a little nervous. I have some butterflies. <laughs> You're going to be great. You're going to be great. You are. With Emma, you are going to figure out exactly what to say to her. Everything's going to be fine. Emma loves Natalia, right? Hey! Hey, come here. I'm so glad you're home. I want to talk to you. Hi, Miss Spencer. Hi, Shannon. I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, okay. Um... Everything okay? Emma had a rough day. I just want to explain what happened in case she seems not like herself tonight. I'm a little surprised. She loves camp. I know. She's made so many friends. She participates. I look forward to seeing her every day. And she has three other girls she plays with every day. Right. Madeline, Charlotte, and Nikki. Right. Yeah. They're a nice group. Well, yesterday, they decided they were all going to wear pink t-shirts today. Uh-huh. Emma forgot. She got there, she was really upset that all of her friends were wearing pink shirts, and she wasn't. Oh, well, I wish somebody had told me I would have come over with a pink t-shirt. She has about 20 of them. She told me not to call you. I, she was out of sorts all day. About a shirt? I don't really understand it. That, that isn't like Emma. You, you know what it is? Kids like to be part of the group. Normal, whatever that is. They don't like to be different. Today, Emma felt different, like she was an outsider. It upset her. I just want to let you know. <laughs> She'll be fine tomorrow. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Now this is one of my newest authors. She wrote a book called Only Dogs Belong on Their Backs. It's about dating. It's great. <laughs> Actually, I, I want to give her a, a lunch, and I want to throw something for her. I just don't know how to promote it. Um, well, what about contacting the local animal shelter? You know, putting dogs up for adoption. Be like doing a public service, but still getting the name of the book out there. Ooh, tie-in. I like that. Yeah. It gives us TV coverage, a lot of press. It's very, very, very good. You're natural at this. Olivia was a fool to let you go. <laughs> Why did she? Emma, we both decided that it was just for the best. You know, we needed some time apart. Time apart? Mm -hmm. Uh, 
um, for press materials, how about uh, a stand-up with the author and one of the homeless dogs? Time apart. That that sounds like you were very close. Well, you still are. You know, when I ran into you and Olivia at the spa, there were a, a lot of rumors circulating. They were true, weren't they? Oh my gosh, why didn't I see this before? I cannot believe it. Emma's two mommies are a couple. 